What's up guys and welcome to as the title screen just told you fast RMX This is yet another Nintendo switch launch title that actually features online play on day one You can play it for free as of right now because Nintendo subscription service doesn't start until the fall It's a very very cool game and I want to talk all about it But before I give any like specific opinions about what is or isn't in the game They have already confirmed that there's a free update coming to the game I believe it is free it's just an update that will be adding more functionality that we'll be talking about soon enough But with that being said Look at that super vehicle waiting for us on the main menu. Doesn't that look beautiful? But there are three different modes in this game. There's the championship mode, the multiplayer mode, and the healer hero mode. The championship mode is your typical cup mode where you have three different difficulties, and in each one you have three levels per cup and nine or ten, wait, yeah, ten cups in total to make a total of 30 tracks, which is pretty darn good. If we go back. We can also choose multiplayer mode, and there's three different kinds of multiplayer. There is split screen, online, and then local. So basically, you can play with multiple people on one Switch, multiple people with multiple Switches locally or online, connecting to other people through the internet. So with that being said, you might notice that there is no lobby system. There's no way to connect with friends online and play with them. That will be changed very soon. That is coming in the first ever update to the game. They're going to be changing it so that you can connect with friends with an actual friend system. And then finally, we have Hero mode which is just basically a challenge mode where you can complete certain quests and stuff I'm not gonna be worrying about that one in this video but if you like that kind of stuff awesome but today we're gonna go ahead and play a, a cup we're gonna go ahead and do the silicon ranked one and just sort of have a good time with it and of course we can choose our vehicle and we have three to start with and then once you complete your first cup you can get unlock another one so with that being said there's the zebra one which we'll be choosing the mech guiva the vasp and then we are i've already unlocked the guangzu so i'm gonna go ahead with the zebra one but they all have their own different attributes so you can go ahead and choose that but there we go let's go ahead and get started And here we are. One thing that's super impressive about this game is its incredible loading time. Of course, this is gonna be a lot of fun on handhelds because, you know, like on the handheld because, you know, you can be in a plane in a car. Oh, I knocked that guy around. And you don't have to worry about super long loading times eating away at your battery. There has been no longer than like a 30 second loading time. But I don't wanna complain about, or not complain, but talk about that when we could be racing. So this game is pretty simple when it comes to its racing mechanics. Basically, you can change your color at any point in time between blue and orange, and your idea is to correspond with the colors. If there's an orange boost, be um, orange, and when there is a blue boost, be blue. So here we wanna be blue, or orange, blue, orange, you get the idea. And we can also collect these boost points, and we can hold R1, or I guess it's R, I'm used to PlayStation, sorry, to boost. And our idea is just to get into first. There aren't like wild, crazy Mario Kart power-ups. That's sort of a good thing in my opinion. It's pure racing, it's about the time, it's about being a good player. And if you boost into another you know, player here, you should be able to uh, go ahead and knock them out like that. Totally awesome. So we're in fourth place right now. Hopefully we can um, make it a little bit faster here and try to get you know all the way in first. But I need to catch up with these people and try to knock them out. So let's go ahead and boom, get rid of Yoon. Um, and then we also have, and the controls beyond that are very simple. You can sort of tilt your vehicle when you're in the air to sort of try to help control what's going on. Because as you can see, you start going ludicrously fast at times. So you really need to be on top of it, know the tracks well, and you can get some insane time. So let's try to get, oh no! I hit the rim of the track there. Come on, let's try this again. Oh buddy, come on, bada boom, there we go. And let's just keep going and try to catch up to everybody. But the tracks seem to be very diverse so far. They're very, very cool looking. A lot of them are fun to race on and fun to learn. But they're also quick. None of these, you know, take too much, you know, of, of your time up. Usually, like, one cup will take no more than, like, ten minutes. So that's pretty cool. We're on the final lap now. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Some people were saying this actually looks really, really awesome on the handheld mode, which I haven't tried yet, but it looks very cool on the screen as well. I like these fast moving games. Of course, I can definitely tell it's not the best looking game of all time, but you know, with what it is, I think it's really nice. And maybe it being on a smaller screen, that would probably look pretty fantastic. So if you do like racing games, which I am a fan of quite a few racing games, I think this is a really great one to take on the go. It's very skill based, but also not cheap or, you know, difficult to learn. And I like that a lot. So, so far, I'm really enjoying it. So, let's go ahead and uh, cut this corner as well as we can because we're in first place now, baby. Come on, bada boom. Go and pick up all of these orbs just like that. Switch to the orange boost if I can. People are sort of starting to catch up to me, I think. We can also change our like camera view if we want. But there we go. We got ourselves first place. Let's go ahead and go to the next race. And I'll sort of show off how quick the loading times are here. If I just press A, 
We are done with that track, we're in a loading screen, and there we go, instantly in the next track. There was no cuts there whatsoever, that was purely how the game loads. Which is pretty crazy awesome if you ask me. So let's go ahead and start pressing the gas right at the end of the two, and that seems to get me a good boost. Right, let's go ahead and try to do that. One thing I noticed about this game is of course you are racing against other players, but I found a lot of the time, I find myself more racing against the environment. Of course, trying to focus on making sure that I'm the correct corresponding color, but also making sure that like a meteor doesn't come down and hit me, because on maps like this, there actually are obstacles that can end up getting you smashed if you're not careful. So that's always cool to see. Let's go ahead and pick this up as well. But I'm really glad that they've already confirmed on Twitter that they're bringing an update to the game. Um, that was sort of like, like, I actually recorded this video already and my footage like corrupted, so I'm actually really glad because before that they hadn't announced that update and that was a big point to this game that I was saying isn't really that great so far is while there's online communication, you can't play with specific people and that was really frustrating. That's actually not the case anymore or won't be the case once that update releases. So I would say if, you know, not now, hold on for a couple weeks and see what other updates they put out to the game. And maybe it'll even go down in price, who knows. But the fact that they're already updating the game with functionalities, people were asking for. Like obviously, I don't think if anybody asked for this, they might have not added it. So it's good that, you know, that's actually something they're respecting and doing quickly. I mean, the game released on the third, I'm recording this on the fifth, so that's really quick turnaround time. So if community support is what you're looking for, this game might actually end up having it. Let's go ahead. And also, I just sort of want to talk about, I'm not really used to doing reviews, as I'm sort of doing with this video. I haven't done a review in a super duper long time. I used to do them quite often a couple years back when the PS4 launched. I'm sort of trying to pick it up again. I won't be doing a ton of reviews, but just sort of like playing a game and talking about my opinions. Obviously, it's not an actual quote unquote review because I haven't played this game to its entirety, but I've played it enough to talk about it and share it with you guys so that if you want it and you're looking for a video on it, this should give you enough information about what to think about. Of course, I'm still gonna be playing games for the first time like I have a Shovel Knight video coming up. We're gonna be playing the Switch version for the very first time and its new update. Um, I played Shovel Knight before, of course, but so feel free to let me know what you thought about this video after you're done watching it if you want. Let's go ahead and try to, oh, oh geez. I'm doing okay though. We're starting to go through. So it might take me a little more than 10 minutes to um, complete this, uh, what's it called, this cup. I'm not really sure. But it feels like it's usually about 10 minutes. It feels a little bit shorter than your average Mario Kart cup. Maybe that's just because of the loading times between Mario Kart levels and that there's usually four tracks in Mario Kart. But honestly, I think it's it's nice how fast it is. I think the 30 tracks is pretty good. I don't think it's too much. I mean, this isn't like a full $60 game. I can't remember the price, but this is actually one of my favorite uh, tracks we've I've raced so far. And why that is is because there's actually two paths, as you can see. All right, there we go. Should be able to get a good boost here. There we go. So let's go ahead and see what color I need to be. It looks like I need to be orange. Excuse me, everybody. But if we, oh, I missed the right path. It's very hard to see right at the beginning, but if you take it, it's actually much more difficult to ride, but it definitely gets you, um, what's it called? It gets you a much faster time. So you can see I'm falling back in placements here quite a lot because I did not take that line. But of course, it's very dangerous too. If you end up messing up, you're gonna fall way behind. No, <laughs> I tried to scoot under that one and I could not. Come on, ready, boom, go, go, go. In this game, I think it looks really cool. Like, I, I've been into futuristic shooters like this, and of course, honestly, I've never, enough shooters, did I say shooters? I mean racers, you know what I mean. Gosh darn it, I stink though. You know, I can stink at a game and still have fun with it. Don't, don't judge me. I have never played F-Zero before, and I saw a lot of people who were playing this and talking about it saying they would love to see an F-Zero game on the Switch, and this is like the closest thing to it just yet, so, Hopefully we see an F-Zero game because people say they're awesome. I would love to try one and have an excuse to try one because of the Nintendo Switch. So let's go this way. And you have to be, have to be careful. I haven't really mentioned it too much, but if you're not the correct color, you will end up um, slowing down on those boost pads instead of speeding up, it seems. So that's something you have to keep aware of. But I just definitely jumped a few places simply because I took that inside line. I'm gonna try to avoid those, you know, purple rays of death though. There we go. And I think we just snagged first place. So there we go. And then the placement is on the bottom right, which is a little weird. I'm used to it being on the bottom left with most racing games. Let's go switch to orange. Wow! I love this dude's voice. He's like, wow! Come on, come on. Oh man. And if you could just like get everything just right, I can imagine you could probably blow through these tracks so quick. So let's go ahead and go like that. Use my boost around here. And I really don't know if it's the best way to play, but I've noticed that for me most of the time I have, you know, Always the R boost button, this sort of held down the entire time. So that was really bad that I knocked into that because that just destroyed my placements. Let's see if I can't get back up the first. Come on. Oh boy. 
Come on, come on. I gotta hit every boost I can find without ruining it for myself. Oh geez, you're picking them all up. Yeah, let me get them too. Let me get them too. Ooh, see ya, see ya. I'm back in first. How's that feel? Wow, no! He would've given me another wow for that one. I would've felt great about myself. I really gotta make the most of these boosts then. Oh geez, come on, come on, come on. Boost it, boost it. We're going quick. I think we're gonna snag first for the third time. There we go. So we got first place for the entire cup, which is green. Awesome stuff. That's pretty darn good. And of course, for completing one of these cups, you get yourself a cool little cutscene at the end where it, you know, knocks or shows like all three players that got first, third, or first, second, and third, I guess. Oh, that might show everybody. Nope, it just shows the first three. All right, very cool. So we are the winner of that cup, the Silicon Cup. We got ourselves some decent times. I actually improved one of my times for the second track. The other two I was a little bit slower, but that's a-okay with me. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and we'll do a level of multiplayer. And this is a yet another cool thing. I really like Mario Kart and I love playing it online, but it's always been a little bit frustrating to play online. And that's because of the, the fact that you play a minute long level and then you have to wait three minutes for everybody to get back in the lobby, choose your next level, load into that level. This game, so much different. It takes you a minute to race, but it takes you so much less time to go ahead and find another track. I probably shouldn't have chose that one. Oh, and there's nobody else here. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've played and there's been nobody. Okay, well, I guess it, may, it might depend on what time you play because I'm playing at 12 p.m. So unfortunately, we might not be able to um, play with people online. But you can see I'm instantly in a level. That's not just because I'm playing on my own. Every time I've played online so far, online match and all the players left the match. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Let's see if I can't find another one. But um, you see it took me like 10 seconds to choose a level, get into the game and play. That's how it is every single time. And you know, if you join in the middle of a match, you have to wait for it to finish, but that doesn't take too long. Online is so much more accessible when there actually are people playing. It might just be sort of unfortunate luck, because like, like I said, I've played this game a couple times, and I've put like an hour or two onto the online, and it's the first time I'm playing, and there's nobody on, but hey, we found somebody. Okay, we'll be able to get, get a race here. That's actually a, a full lobby. And that's what I'm saying. It, there's not really a lobby system right now, so it makes it more difficult. As soon as they add that friend system, I think things are gonna change for the better. When it comes to everything else, there is a time attack mode coming with this update as well. So I'm gonna wait for this race to end and we're just gonna go ahead and get into our own online race. All right then, so we get to choose a track here. I'll go ahead and choose, uh, I guess Pyramid Alley. That's what I had selected before I could choose it. But hey, pretty cool. And you can see on the bottom, you can see I have points next to my user. Every time you win a race, you seem to get some kind of points. So there is sort of like a ranking system. You can see somebody here was ranked 61. So I guess if you're good enough at the game, that's pretty darn cool. All right, so we got New Zendling. New Zendling? I guess it's like New Zealand. Wow, this is really cool. I like it. A lot of people riding that zebra vehicle. Shout out to you guys. All right, let's go. Ready, set, bada boom. Oh, wow, okay, everybody knocking everybody out of the way there. But of course, I notice that when you play online, the more people that are on there, the more points you could potentially gain. So if you're playing like a round with like four people, I'm gonna be playing back because I've never raced this one before. That guy's like floating in the air. I think that just might be that guy's internet catching up. But, um. Like say there's like four people, you won't get as many points if you win as if you won with a full stack of eight people. And that's the most you can have in a game. Man, that was a really big jump. <laughs> I don't know if I should have jumped that far. But you can really get a decent amount of control in the air and we are actually pushing ahead for first here. I'm currently in first, but you know, people's internet are catching up. So that's really the hard thing about playing racing games like this online is it's really just simply hard to tell who's in first. You just gotta sort of play you know, the best you can play and hope it's enough. Like, this guy is like below the track. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Ready, boom, boom, boom. And, and, and that's sort of the thing. He could be, I guess he couldn't be on the road, but he could be connected to like a Wi-Fi at like a McDonald's or something, you know? Like, I don't even know. He's pretty good for a McDonald's player. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, so we're sort of kind of in the lead, sort of kind of not. It doesn't look like there's any alternative uh, paths for this track though. Wow, I flew so far. A little too far, I gotta say, because I missed all of the boosts. Come on, cut this corner a little bit, if I can. But of course, I, I might I might want to try, you know, like a different vehicle, but at the same time, that's sort of a thing. I feel like that would be nice, is it seems like, you know, mid-lobby, um, you cannot change your vehicle, like, you know, between choosing a track. It doesn't give you too much time to, but that would be pretty nice. This is the final lap. I am in first. I don't know how long that's going to stay the case, so I'm about to lap somebody, this poor dude. 
Okay, come on, come on. Ooh, I gotta keep it going. I gotta keep it going. Oh man. But I like how it isn't really, you know, your typical Mario Kart where it's like, oh, I could have won that one if I didn't get blue shelled, or I could have won that one, or like, I won that one just because I blue shelled, you know? I don't really like that sometimes when it comes to an online or just a competitive experience. It's always fun to have a Mario Kart game, which is why I'm gonna play the, you know, the, the heck out of uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe when it releases in late April. But in the meantime, getting my, what, did the, the, the is he gonna cost me first place because he just backed up on me? <laughs> All right, well. Come on, come on, come on. Race and countdown. So there is a race and countdown if everybody takes so long. What happened? How did I get third place? <laughs> I have no clue. But hey, I was in first place for a while, so I'll take it. And how many points are we gonna get for that? Gonna get six. So I already had six points, so I just doubled my score. Very, very cool. So there we go. I think that's where we're gonna finish things off. I could stay here, but if I just press B, I immediately leave. And I think that's one of the coolest features of this game is how fast it moves. It's a fast RMX game that just has a really fast system to it, and it's just everything loads like that. And I think that's really great for a you know a mobile console experience because the more time you're not waiting for loading screens, the more time you can play without eating your battery. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on Fast RMX. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point in the video, make sure you comment Fast Zebra so that you've watched the video and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.